Hi Stampers, this is Annette from stampwithannette.com. This is the second video in a series on the Retrofresh product suite. Um, and today I'm going to put together a quick page in my Nifty 50 journal. Um, I am having so much fun doing this. Um, I love to scrapbook and this, this method just makes it quick and easy. I've been planning a little bit so I have some post-it notes in there. Um, on this page I'm doing my challenge number 22 which was a fun outing and I went to dinner and a movie with a friend last week so that's what I decided to put on this page <clears throat> all right I have three pictures us at the outside the restaurant us inside the restaurant and what we needed at the movie um, I decided I wanted to use the film strip die from the on film framelits to kind of frame my photos so I have these at a bit of an angle because I didn't want to worry about cutting sizing my pictures and cutting them exactly the size to fit those windows so I decided that I would just offset them like that just so I didn't have to worry about exact size It's that mops method, the messy, messy on purpose, which I like to do because I don't have to worry about things so much. And glue that right down there. Remember with the Tombow glue, just a little dabble do ya. Now hold on. All right, there we go. Hold that for just a second. Okay, I'm going to use one of the journaling tags. <clears throat> and I just wrote on there, I just wrote Girls' Night. And one of the things um, that I have not done very much of in scrapbooking in the past is use my own handwriting. I don't really care for it. Um, but with this style of scrapbooking, the goal is to get it done and to not worry so much about what it looks like but to just keep those memories so grabbed my soft suede marker because I don't have the baked brown sugar and <clears throat> just wrote on there real quick just says girls night I'm gonna stick that right there grab a little piece of the striped washi tape well, I think I want it torn on both the edges there we go. Just put that at the top. Then I have my movie stuff, and I'm going to put that right down here. I'm going to do a little arrow, kind of figure out the placement here. Movie stub, I'm going to do another piece of this washi tape. And then this arrow will help hold it down. On the arrow, I cut it out with the on film framelits again. Um, with so saffron but I want to stamp on that I'm going to use the rotary stamp and when you're using these there's a little box here the number that's showing there is the image that's listed on the list right here so number one is in this little box and number one on the list says awesome that's what I Wanted it to say so I've got my baked brown sugar stamp pad. I'm just going to ink up. Now these stamps are not designed to necessarily have a perfect image. That's just kind of the way. If you think about an old rotary stamp, it doesn't necessarily stamp completely clean images, and that's the whole thought with these. I didn't get it quite straight. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to get it in there and get my album done. All right. One more Tombow. Stick that in there. And I'm going to take my marker I decided on every page I'm going to put what challenge number it was so just down here at the bottom I'm gonna put challenge 
number 22 fun outing then I'm going to use this space to do a little bit of journaling uh, but there's my page all done except for some journaling quick and easy um, I did want to show you real quick with the on film framelit this particular one that looks like a film strip um, sometimes your cardstock can get stuck down in here when you run it through the big shot um, I had that trouble when I first started um, I had to take my paper piercing tool and kind of get under there a little bit and pry it out and then I, um, all these little holes will get stuck in there um, that's making it sound really difficult to use and it's not um, to keep from having to dig my frame out of the framelit I put wax paper between the framelit and the paper and when you do that it just gives it enough um, glossy finish that it just slides right out so when I ran that through the big shot then these pieces just popped right out of the out of the die so then I just need to take the paper piercing tool and poke out the little squares so not hard um, it sure adds a fun element to your card or your page so that's my tip for today Hope you have a great day. Happy snapping, everyone.